Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. Today we are covering the Thermal Solar Power Mod. And uh, this one is pretty interesting. It's kind of a early mid-game uh, alternative, or not really alternative, um, but version of nuclear power. So it adds in several things that I've laid out here. Uh, the most important thing probably being these uh, thermal solar panels. They have four different I love them, uh, level 1, 2, 3, and 4, some nice graphics I like there on the higher levels. And uh, these things basically uh, pull in heat and generate heat, and then they can be sent down heat pipes to heat exchangers or these special uh, molten uh, salt heat accumulators. And there's uh, multiple different versions here, there's three different levels, each one being able to store more heat. And then of course each one of these can generate more heat. Uh, so looking at the solar panels, you can see they're right here. Uh, so this one generates 100 kilowatts of energy during the day and also stores some heat at night. This one does 150, this one does 200, and this does 250. Um, but then these things are basically like accumulators for heat, is they store the heat um, to make steam uh, like overnight or whatever. And it can transfer heat further on heat pipes, this last one. Uh, and then on top of that, it adds uh, four different heat exchangers, a basic one, uh, makes steam at 165 uh, Celsius, makes steam at 250 for improved steam engines, uh, and then 335 for improved steam engines and 420. So you would basically need the equivalent level of these because it also adds in uh, four, uh, three different levels of steam engines, a Mark II, a Mark III, and a Mark IV. Uh, so like this one here would pretty much be used for normal steam engines. Uh, I'd imagine you can see there, maximum temp, it matches this one. Uh, so on and so forth, and uh, this guy here, so this is um, basic heat exchanger, which is his first one. I've hooked it up, we're just waiting for water, but this guy is hooked up, and this guy I let sit here for quite a long time, uh, because it actually takes a very long time for these to collect the heat, even the Mark IVs and, uh, and stuff. So I have versions here to kind of show some examples, but they're still trying to generate enough heat, uh, just because they're super, super slow. Uh, this thing needs to be even hotter anyway because it's the level 2. Uh, but we'll turn this on and show you. But lastly, it also adds in the salt evaporation pond. So this thing uh, takes in water and heat. You can see the little heat hookups there on the side. So I've just hooked up one of these solar panels. Uh, and it will take the water and heat and it will generate salt. As you can see here, it needs to get to 100 degrees. And this is what you will use to actually make these. You can see it takes uh, the salt and then, you know, just other vanilla materials or one of the previous versions of itself. And uh, and there you go. So it's pretty cool because this kind of replaces the rea nuclear reactors before you can get them. If you want to do this early with steam engines, uh, you can certainly do that. So this guy uh, is actually hot enough almost. I believe this level 2 needs to be... Uh, let's see, 250. So this one actually isn't quite hot enough because uh, this actually needs to get to like 250 degrees. You can see it's still slowly climbing. But if we take this guy who had uh, been heated up already and we turn on the water, uh, you can see here this guy is going and then we just need a passive energy void and you can see this guy is generating power uh, just like a normal steam engine. Uh, it's actually a little more. It's a Mark II steam engine which generates 1.8 megawatts. Uh, I think it's not quite pulling all of it uh, because I'm not actually sure. It's For some reason, it's not um, fully draining it. This may actually be a thing with the passive energy void, um, but it is working, uh, which is awesome. You can see it has all its steam. Uh, uh, okay, the temperature is the issue because we're using a basic accumulate, a basic heat exchanger here, um, and this needs to actually be hotter. Uh, but you can basically see the principle. So this is really cool. I think it's a neat idea to have these kind of heat solar panels to do this before nuclear if you feel so inclined. Uh, if you don't even want to use reactors, you could do this with nuclear, although you would need a massive, <laughs> massive amount of these. Uh, but either way, I think it's a pretty neat mod. So there you go, guys. Uh, there it is. In terms of research, there is, I'm sure, research for it. Uh, you know, for uh, thermal, thermal stuff, uh, thermal solar panel uh, power. You can see here there's multiple levels of it uh, that unlock different stuff. And uh, there's just like four levels, and there you go. So first one, you can actually get a red science, like right away if you want to. Uh, the next one's red, next one's red and green, the last one is red, green, blue. So like I said, early to mid-game. 
Anyway, guys, that's it. Link in the description to the mod portal where you can check this out with some more information and stuff. Uh, there's some good pictures and descriptions there. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, leave it below. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.